This is a prime example of brand new British design. I have here two homes I'm going to show you in this video and I challenge you to let me know which is your favourite and why. We have one behind me priced at 1.545 million pounds and another priced at 1.3 million. They're very similar so I'm super curious to see what your guys thoughts are as we show you around today. You join me in Solihull, which is in the West Midlands, around an hour and a half away from London for those international viewers that have never heard of Solihull. Anyway, it's a very prestigious area in the UK. So today it is time to show you guys these houses and we're going to start off in the big one. Let's go. Before we go inside, let's admire the exterior a little more. So two properties, as I mentioned, each accessed by a electric gate, resin driveway, and then we have a garage over here, as well as lots of parking for each property. There's an electric vehicle charging point over that side. We have CCTV cameras on the outside and an alarm system, of course, and check out the symmetry of the design with the porch, especially above here. But now let's go inside and uh, give you the full tour. We're in the entrance then of Mulberry House, which is one of the two houses here in the development called The Furs. And it was built by HCD Developments. And if you guys have been following the channel for a while, you'll know we've been featuring their products and their homes for the last couple of years. And a couple of them actually sold as a direct result of featuring on our YouTube channel. So we're very grateful to be back here. And HCD, they level up every single time with their homes. They're always innovating. So I'm excited to show you the latest addition. Now we are in the main sitting room. We have a beautiful chandelier in the center here. Fireplace on, it's very cozy. And what I like about this room is they've gone for the paneling, which is a very nice way to elevate the luxury feel in a room, but doesn't have to be that costly. Like you guys, if you're looking for inspiration, can achieve something very similar with a bit of DIY involved in your own home. Now, the furniture package in this home can also be included. So what I wanna to do today is show you this home and then go over to Chestnut House. So there's 400 square feet difference between this property and that one. So we're gonna compare the price and we're also gonna compare the style because they're both fully furnished. So now where we're at in the hall, we've come out of the sitting room. We have a parlor room or WC on the left here, whatever you like to call that. A study, which we'll show you in a moment, but come through the double doors into my favorite part, the open plan living space. So this home is all about modern living for families and I'll take you through the kitchen first. So this is a Tom Howley kitchen and the worktop is style stone in a Miami finish and it's a beautiful design. It goes with the aesthetic of the property and the word that's coming to me is timeless. It's a design that can be here for decades to come and it's still gonna look modern, luxury and super classy. So let's check out the kitchen some more. We have the oven here in the center, nice tinted mirror behind to make the space feel even larger. You can see all the way across that way. But here we have tons of storage. I love the um, Shaw's sink established in 1897, but it's just, yeah, very much like heritage feel. And we have the cooker boiling hot tap here. And what I like about this is it's high tech. You can double tap this and you get instant hot water. And then what have we got through here? Bins, there we go. But then in terms of other appliances, we have a wine cooler here. And then the fridge freezer actually. So Alex, if you take a couple of steps back, we'll actually show everyone the fridge freezer. And they are integrated nicely here. So the fridge on this side, stocked up, I see, which is always good. Beers in the bottom, Coke at the top. And then the freezer on this side over here. So both next to each other, very convenient. So then as we progress this way, we have the utility room as well. So you black internal doors as well, which are a nice touch, good quality. And we have a Bosch washer dryer, another sink here. And look at these, I remember HDD designing or doing this on like the last house. And I always thought that's quite a cool way to keep your washing stuff. And then lastly, we have the single garage, which is just behind that door, which has the electric door. Okay, so we're exploring so far. So remember, it's this house or the other one, and you have around 250,000 to spare with the other house. So do you buy two luxury cars? Do you buy one high-end car, like a Yoris, for example? Let me know as we keep exploring. 
Next up, the living area as part of the open plan space. And here you'll see a bespoke feature TV wall with the Luxury Home Show playing on the screen there. So if you're not subscribed, you can subscribe below with the red button, it's free to do so. And you can check out all of our tours all across the UK and progressing around the world now as well, which is pretty cool. So yeah, subscribe to be part of that journey. But what do you guys think to that feature wall? Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on the overall styling so far. For me, I love this space because it feels very luxury, but not overdone. We've got the boucle sofas, which are always a nice touch, very in fashion at the moment. Flooring wise, gone for herringbone flooring and like a nice gray color, but just suits the overall aesthetic of the house. You might have seen a preview of the garden as we walked around. So we have two sets of bifolding doors actually. So I imagine as the weather's getting better now, we move through spring into summer, you'll be able to enjoy that in and outdoor lifestyle really nicely as well. And the garden is pretty private, especially from this side with quite a lot of mature trees, but we'll show you the garden a little later. For now, let's head back through the hallway and uh, go check out the study and keep exploring. Coming back into the hallway, uh, the one thing I didn't mention about the living room is that's where the control panel is for the smart home automation system. So we have underfloor heating and you can control all of the lighting and security from there too. So now we're in the study and uh, this is a nice moment for two things. One, I can sit down and just remind you that if you're interested in this house, HCD, their contact details will be in the description below. But we have exciting news. The Luxury Home Show have actually been building a new website which is awesome. It's there to support us in our goal of connecting with more homeowners and delivering more of these home tours to you guys. So the problem we had is that we don't have the time or the expertise to do this. So we actually connected with an expert freelancer on Fiverr and his name is Kirill and he's been designing our website for us and it has been awesome. So if you're not familiar already, Fiverr is the leading freelance marketplace in the world for finding top class talent. Think anything from web design like us, graphic design, social media marketing, but also architecture, interior design services, consulting, so much more. Now, not only do the Luxury Home Show have an incredible website that you can check out in the description below, we're able to save a ton of time and we we're super pleased with the results. So let me take you back to finding Kirill on Fiverr. So the way it works is you can browse through tons of experts and they have rating reviews out of five. So we're able to select someone with lots of five-star reviews if you're looking for an expert freelancer for anything from graphic design, web design, logo design, AI services, even virtual staging, then you can check out the services available to you on Fiverr. Simply go to fiverr.co forward slash luxury. The best thing is use code luxury for 10% off the services you go for. We have four bedrooms, three bathrooms to see. Let's go. Welcome to the first floor of Mulberry House then. So they've gone for a stair runner carpet with the wood on each side of the staircase. Very nice indeed. Now the first floor, so four bedrooms, two of them have en suites. Each is styled slightly differently. So we're gonna show you every single one. So here is probably bedroom four, and this faces the back of the house. So an incredible view to the garden. Head in the center here, nice plush carpet. There's TV points behind Alex, good ceiling heights. And then behind here, we have a cleverly tucked away wardrobe area. You can walk right in, tons of storage, and then a Velux window here to open it up and get some fresh air through the bedroom. Okay, so next we'll go back through this way and then show you a bit of the landing as well. Pretty generous landing. It's always nice to feel spacious up here. We have an incredible chandelier here, which matches the banister woodwork very nicely. And next up, this is bedroom two, I would say, and um, it has the ensuite, this one. And again, different design, still very luxury. The bed in the center, this one is at the front of the property. So we've got three large windows overlooking that way. And there's actually fields across that way, nice and bright. The wardrobe setup is here. So what have we got? One, two, three, four cupboards. And I said that with a Solihull accent, it's growing on me. And then we have the hanging rails here as well. So welcome into the ensuite which has a beautiful stone finish, all from porcelainosa, and each bathroom has different stone, and I like that, they haven't just gone for like copy paste, the same style. So here is the walk-in shower, 
We have the sink and mirror here, which is always hard to film. Alex is in the corner like, Shh, oh, reflections. <laughs> and then floating toilet this side with some frosted glass. Bedroom so far, okay, we've seen two of four. Now don't forget, we still have the second property to see. And with that second property, okay, you get 400 square feet less, but you still have four bedrooms, you still have three bathrooms and some money left over. So is it worth investing more to get the big place or saving a bit? We still need to work that out on today's mission. So next we'll go into what I think is bedroom three. So then it has all of storage across this side, bed in the center, again, nice lighting. You guys get that by now. And then three windows out the front again, looking across the fields, nice and bright. So we have the main bathroom. And I think this is my favorite stone finish in here out of all of them. So come on through. This is stunning actually. Porcelain Osa, amazing tiles. And they've gone for the black hardware, like black finish with the shower, very trendy. But then also the bathtub here, and this is a hands grower stuff. So let me see, have you ever seen a tap like this? It actually reminded me of a black tape measure, but I think it's quite cool. It's, it's definitely different. I'm not actually sure how it works. Is this on? Oh no, so that's the plug there. And so how do you turn it on? That would be this. Okay, yeah, so there's the bath handle. That's quite cool. I always like to see how things work in the homes. And the best part about this one is we have a TV above the bath, so you can sit right in here and watch the luxury home show in the bath. Very cool. Okay, lastly, we have the principal bedroom. Now this room is massive. A lot of that extra square foot seems to be in this bedroom, but I like that, it's very opulent. It's always nice to be in your principal suite like a king or queen and just enjoy it. So you've got views out to the garden from this side, super private, very nice. And of course, this one has the ensuite in another different finish, a different type of stone. Again, from Porcelainosa, hands grower. And yeah, all good. Nice room, plenty of space. You guys get the picture. So with Mulberry House then, the last thing we've got left to see is a preview of the gardens. But I actually think we'll go check out Chestnut House first and then show you all the gardens because what we can do at the end is take a few steps back, look back at both houses and be like, okay, which one do we prefer? How similar are they? So we'll do that next. So yeah, I'll meet you over at the other house. Okay, that is a wrap then of Mulberry House. And we thought we'd walk out here, give you guys another look. So then when we go over to Chestnut House, you can compare. So as a reminder, both of these houses are for sale and you can check out more in the description. And I always like to hear from you guys. So drop us a comment below whilst we're walking over now. What do you think so far? You know, one of our favorite things is reading your comments. So here we are, slightly different style and design, less symmetrical, beautiful aesthetic though still, timeless, very similar obviously in, in materials or pretty much the same. So this one has a front lawn here, some nice landscaping, the parking here, a garage as well, and then side access, which takes you to the back garden. Let's head on through the front door. This is a look at the CCTV here, which is always great for deliveries and security. Come on in, we'll just close the door. And now, yeah, it's time to check out the next property. So the first thing you'll notice is when we come into the entrance, we've got a slightly different staircase design. This one actually goes around on a right angle. We'll show you that in more detail. The hallway has the beautiful paneling finish. Now come on through into the living room. Interestingly, this living room is actually quite a bit bigger than the other house. So whilst the square foot is different, this is a larger room. So you've got to ask yourself, where do you spend your most time? Would you rather have a bigger formal sitting room or more space in the open plan area? Now we have the fireplace here, which again is the same as the last property, the paneling design that we've talked about and a slightly different furniture package, as you'll see. So you can also compare the two of those as we explore around. The surround sound system carries on through here. Let me know what you think to the doors. So I'll give you a look at what they look like closed. We've got white around the outside within the glass finish. I guess that helps when you come into the hallway if they're closed, you can get a nice preview in and just feels all nice and open. So on this one, the downstairs WC, the toilet is through that door. Staircase like we've talked about. So let's continue through into the open plan area. So this is again, a Tom Howley kitchen. The Miami Vena Silestone worktop, 
which is like a marble style look, but more durable and more stain resistant. And it's actually a slightly different color too. So we had the blue last time, and now this is like a really nice shade of gray, which kind of matches the outside actually, but goes with the overall house development um, really nicely. Oven in the center with the induction hob here on top, as well as the extractor, which is nicely tucked up there. Tinted screen again. I believe this one has the, yeah, here it is, the fridge this side. There we go, that's a Neff fridge. We then have a Neff drinks fridge as well. So utility next, that's it. Come on through, very similar. So this is basically the same as last time. So when you're comparing, that is pretty much the same and the garage is through there. Right, now let's go over and check out the rest of this space. We have the dining table positioned over here, table of six, and nicely positioned to enjoy the view down the garden that way. Lots of nice hedging around there. And then we have the seating area, which is a similar style, different sofas. Ah, this, that's actually really good timing. So this on screen now is one of HED's previous developments here in Solihull. This video is probably three, maybe even longer, three years ago now, which is cool to see. Um, so yeah, feature wall all around here, lights above, and we've got to see upstairs now. So like I said, still four bedrooms, lots to see, and then we're gonna do the final comparison as we head outside. And uh, yeah, so I'll take my shoes off and we'll head upstairs. We're now upstairs and we're gonna check out the four bedrooms and the three bathrooms in total. Now, if you're interested in finding out how the Luxury Home Show can help sell luxury homes like this via featuring on YouTube and across our social platforms, we have some incredible case studies now that we've built up. A lot of these are gonna be displayed on the website. But if you're watching this and you have a luxury home and you're trying to sell or you wanna market and you're interested, feel free to reach out to us in the description below. Okay, enough of that, let's head through into Bedroom three, first of all. This is a lovely room, good ceiling heights in the center. We have dual aspect windows. So you've got windows looking to the front and then two Velux windows, which you can open up. And yeah, really nice view of the sky through there as well as some storage behind Alex. Let's keep exploring. What have we got next? This is a storage cupboard, but worth noting, you can chuck suitcases and things like that in there. Next bedroom is this one. So these are the two smaller rooms, although they're still all double bedrooms and you have en suites in the other bathroom. So this has a nice view across the back garden and it has wardrobes on this side. Actually loads of storage space all throughout there, which is cool. So next up, I'll show you this bedroom, number two, I would call this, but they're both like principal suites because they're large double bedrooms with tons of wardrobe space and then they have their own en suites too. And this one, has um, a nice walking shower actually. And check out that stone finish, quite unusual, but I like the design. They've got hands grower taps there, and then a, yeah, like a right angled shower wall here. Frosted glass, and this is the sink, and is this a touch? Yeah, touch LED mirror. Okay, so now on the right through here is the main bathroom. So we have, first of all, a shower as you go in through there. And then we have the bathtub freestanding here. They've got some nice LED up lights there. It's just neutral, like you can come in, you can move in, you don't have to do anything. Or if you are someone that likes a bit of color or some more artwork throughout, like you can very easily just add that in. So lastly, the principal bedroom. Of course, the largest room and a very impressive chandelier in the middle. This one has awesome views outside. And then we have wardrobes around here with a curved finish. But you've got enough space for an ottoman at the end of the bed here, as well as the side tables. And let me take you to the ensuite of this room, which has a gray textured tile in the back of the shower, actually. And this nice nook or recess with LED lights. And the best thing, like a monsoon shower head. So you stand here, you feel like a waterfall is above you. And then as similar to Mulberry House as well, we have the black freestanding bath here and as well the TV above the bath and they've been putting them in for a few years now and they're, they're pretty cool. So this connects us nicely actually. I wanna go have a look at the garden like we talked about and we'll do our final comparison. So let's clip to us out there now. All right, you join us in the back garden of Chestnut House. So Mulberry House over there and we can now get a final preview of the two designs 
and the scale of both. Like honestly, they're, they're very, very similar in both super luxury houses. So a 400 square foot or a 250,000 pound or so difference. I wanna know in the comments, which one would you go for and why? Let me know. And then that basically brings us to the end of the video. So I wanted to say thank you again to Fiverr for sponsoring the video and helping us realize our goal of building our website. So if you guys would like to check out any services, as a reminder, head to fiverr.co forward slash luxury. And don't forget to use the code luxury to get 10% off the services you're looking for as well. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe and we'll see you in our next episode. Hey everyone, it's Hannah and welcome to the Luxury Home Show. This is what 4.2 million pounds gets you in the heart of London. London.